Hi, good morning. I have a little bit more energy today, guys. Nice. Yep, yep. I I never fall asleep. I fell asleep at like a 1030 last night. I never, ever fall asleep that early. Ever. God damn. So I was tired. Like, I fell asleep before Marie, which that never happens. Knock the fuck out. No, I'm telling you, I, that, that event, man, that was... Hey, you had fun. I had a great oh, time. I had a great time. Uh, and thank you to everyone that came out. And we sold out the meet and greet. That was pretty cool. How many shirts? We made a good amount. I don't know exact amount. We make. We have got cash. I got cash right now. You want me to th fucking throw up my you cash? Have cash? No, I'm not putting cash on my stream. The IRS says I don't even. I don't trust the IRS in anything. Put fat stacks on the stream. Never ask me how much <laughs> cash I have on hand. I will never tell you. Or how much crypto I have in cold wallets. I'll never tell you. You'll <laughs> never know, because the answer is zero. I lost them all in a boating accident. <laughs> he, he 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 does flaunt it to me off air like he just fans it like a, I like do a, I do actually yeah I do I go like and he this. puts it in a shoe <laughs> and then I throw it in the pool and I go mm, average white man's money mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun I'm not even gonna lie uh, honestly JJ it's it's like it's not as much it's, the, the, you know when you look it's what, what movie was it when they show like a hundred thousand dollars in a briefcase and it was didn't look like a lot because it's not a lot in paper right it was was it dodgeball it might have been was it dodgeball? yeah I think it's dodgeball, dodgeball yeah. yeah ten it was ten thousand dollars and it's only like and, a one it's just like <laughs> it's, it's not a lot of money that's actually not a lot of money yeah <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Danny Saint. I went to Raw in Chicago. I left halfway through and was asleep before the show ended. I actually watched some of Raw yesterday live. I rarely do. But now that I have the super box, I have USA again. And Danny, and, throw the Asian in the pond. Yeah. Can I Operation. say, CM Punk was right. Seth Rollins does wear lifts now, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, you saw it, right? No. Oh, Drew Mac he was, that joke was a Drew McIntyre. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're right. That's a good point. But no, yeah. but so does Seth. But Rollins does too. He, dude, yes, he does. Look at him shoes. I know he does. Yeah. And um, Punk kind of wasn't as over in Chicago as he normally is. Am I wrong? Am I yeah, wrong? You heard that? the Seth, Seth Rollins chants at the same time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he not as over as he used to be? I mean, probably. He's done shit on enough people. It's just there was a lot of there, there was a lot of elements in that segment. Like you had it's Seth, you had Punk. Well, first off, too much is going on. Is yeah. my is my thing. Too much is too much is going on. It's not focused because they have that mess. Um, but you know, yeah, see, Danny saying, "Yeah, now nah, he was over." Right, okay, well, was Danny the was there. Danny was there. I'll trust Danny. I'll trust Danny on this. He was I'll, over. always trust who was in the crowd. Okay. I don't trust people with weird ears. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just called Superbox. Yeah, the TV thing's just called Superbox. Uh, I fucking great. I was watching the the second season of the Physical One Hundred yesterday on it, and I, I love still it. have to watch. The I fuck it, bro. It's so much. It's so good. Uh, it's so good. I I, I love it. Um, and uh, John, have you seen the Physical One Hundred? Yeah, yeah, it's really. Have cool. you seen season two? <laughs> mm -mm. Season two's even better. Because really? Season, okay, yeah, awesome. Season two, they bring in a guy who's a cosplayer, like he's in good shape, but he's dressed like Yami from fucking uh, One Piece, and it was so cringe because everyone's like, "Who is that? Why is he doing that?" It was very <laughs> funny. They have a figure skater, which is hilarious because she's super skinny. She's not doing like. There's certain people. That you're just like, why are they even in this competition? They had a fat guy who was, I thought was a sumo wrestler, but he's a fat Korean actor. It's so good. <laughs> I love that show. I get so into it. Yeah, the first season was great. Yeah. Jess will be excited. Yeah, it's so good. Season two just started, so I think they're on episode four? Four or five? Something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um. Hey cool. guys, um, hopefully none of you lived in Baltimore, huh? That, <laughs> oh, is this about a bridge? Yeah. Wild. Oh my god, I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen oh, anything dude, about it. Just told me about oh, it. I haven't seen do. a thing about it. It's fucking how many, terrifying. How many angles do you want of it? Because there's it's like eight of them at this point. Fucking terrifying. 
What exactly happened? Frozen, a, give, a me, boat give me a hit couple. the bridge? Yeah. Uh, well, okay, so, in, so if you if you check in the, the prep bag. So here's my understanding. It was a cargo ship, right? The cargo ship, from what I heard, had a catastrophic power failure. So they had no control over the cargo ship. And then you see the video, you see the power come back on right before it hits it. Would you uh, say it was the second or the first video, JJ? Of I mean, they're all, there's, some, the, they're there's all so many videos. They're it all fucking, matter. it doesn't matter which one. JBC says an Indian cargo ship crashed into the bridge because Indians. Well, yeah, I mean, look, listen, Indians yeah. are going to Indian, bud. I mean, there's nothing you can Indian. do about that, but I don't think this was there. Here's the thing I'll give Indians credit for. Have you seen how they drive? They could they could drive through congested areas. You know what I mean? They'll hit pedestrians, but they're not going to hit any bridges, I don't think. Well, they drive like that because life is worth less over there. But, absolutely. <laughs> less. But it's, <clears throat> it's, you know, it's simple supply and demand. When there's more people, <clears throat> your life is worth True. less. There's a mm -hmm. fucking a billion people. It's like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of Indians, bro. And you guys all look exactly the same. There's exactly. no, like, you know. And honestly, and then you you... Want, if, if you want me to feel, like, sympathy for you, like, maybe don't, like, you know, try to take money from my grandma. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, maybe then I'll be like, oh, man, these poor people, look at their terrible living conditions. But instead, you just, like, steal money from us. So. Well, that's no deal. That's no deal, Royce. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> did you set? But did you? What did you put it? Uh, frozen in showlings. Uh, it's all oh, in prep bag. Like, I would say the ones from JJ would have the raw footage. Yeah. I tried. Oh, to throw, thank you. There's so many of them. I just tried to throw the, like the big ones up in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had already pulled this one up. I just realized something. You know, normally when I pull prep up, I purposely just don't watch it because I kind of don't want to know. I just click it, yeah, and tab, click it, tab, click it, tab. Uh, let's see here. We got some donations coming in too. We'll read those in a second, but let's watch this video really quick first. Here we go. So here you go. Watch. There's the ship. There's the ship. Do you see this? There's a ship coming on I the see left. It. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, oh my so god. How... You had so much clearing. You could have just a Mothman before this There's because no that power. happened. There's no power. How do you turn a ship oh. that has no power? There's, That's okay. there's not that people died. There, there was a yeah. yeah, yeah. People are still missing. They're saying, but they're dead. They said it was a catastrophic power failure, in on the ship. <laughs> And see, that's going to fuck Maryland up so bad because that bridge is used for a lot. Yeah, JJ. Yeah, that's a long-standing bridge, JJ, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen the Dark Knight Rises. I know what happens. Yeah. NBC yeah. News special report. Here's They're Savannah fucked. Guthrie. Good morning, everybody. We're coming and collapsing Dude. overnight. Dude. You can see the video. Right Dude. There. It shows the entire structure appearing to break apart. This is a mile and a half bridge over Baltimore Harbor. NBC's Tom Costello is right there at the scene. Somebody's us. going to and jail. Tom, Somebody's going to jail. Is I mean, if it's a fucking power failure, what are you going to do? Who's going to go to jail? Good. I don't know. The Indians. It doesn't matter. Just throw them in there. The thing is, is that Goofy Boots, <laughs> Goofy Boots has a conspiracy theory, and I don't know, man. Was did, it could be, but did somebody uh, did somebody hack it and steer it into it? You never know. So yeah, he, here's a possibility: was the ship inspected before it left the port? It's it, well, if an Indian port, I'm going to doubt it. An Indian port, they're leaving. Then Indian someone's port. getting sued. All right, I need some information, guys. You guys, fucking you, Sparks in the chat are good at this. I know because I met some people at the live event that wouldn't make eye contact. Let me know. <laughs> it's true. Wouldn't look you in the they, fucking eye. They were really nice, but also autistic. But I love you guys, and I and that's why I spend extra time talking to you to let you know that you were loved and cared for. I need to know. Is that why the ones you pointed out were the normal ones? Because they looked you in the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other ones I didn't want to Define make. Define normal. I, well, normal for us. How's Again, that sound? Keep going. That's the best I could do, man. It's the All fucking right. best I could do. I feel like Hobo's kind of normal. Mm -hmm. Can you? It, this was a Singapore flagged ship, so it came from Singapore. It, was it had a Singaporean flag on it, uh, but I think it was driven by a brown, either Indian or Sri Lankan. Did China oh, have? Sri Lankans are hear the me worst out. out of the hear drivers. me out. I'm, an, I'm Alex Jones in this. Are you ready? Did China hack the ship? 
But here's your mistake. China, Singapore. Yeah, yeah China. Yeah, China. Yeah. Mm. Here's here's your here's your Maybe. big here's your big mistake, China. If it was you, it's Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one gives a shit about Baltimore anyway. <laughs> I feel I bad that people died. I really do. I know. That's, I feel that's bad terrible. now. However, I shouldn't have made that joke. However, but I'm standing by it. However, however, <laughs> we've all seen The Wire. So, I mean, you understand? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Ooh, they dredged like the canal. Now we can get the super ships, and this is what happens right. to super ships. Can I give you some more? Can I give you? I, I want to go through the litany of responses that we're going to get from this. So, you ready? Here we go. You ready? We're going to get within a few days, and I want you on Twitter when this happens to tag me in it. It's sad. You're going to get a tweet from some lefty pink haired people that's going to be like, it's super sad that this happened in Baltimore and lives were lost. But now when we rebuild the bridge, I recommend we name it the George Floyd Memorial Bridge because Francis Scott Key was a slave owner. And the last thing we want to do in 2024 is build the bridge in a predominantly black neighborhood named after a slave owner. They're going to use this disaster to rename the bridge to the Malcolm. No, not Malcolm X. They don't like him either. The Martin Luther King or I'm telling you the George Floyd Memorial Bridge. Mark my fucking words. That's going to be one of the responses. I don't think it's going to be George Floyd. What was the one? What was the kid's name that got killed in the back of the uh, police van that they drove around for like eight hours? Maybe Emmett Till. It'll be that Emmett Till Bridge. Eh, it's not current events enough. Mm. Well, the one that they broke his neck and then he died like a couple of days later. It'll be that kid. Okay. Have any of these people been into Baltimore? Somebody say this is karma for Ray Lewis, but that doesn't even make sense. Ray Lewis committed his murder, alleged murder in Miami. Yeah, in a white suit. In a white suit, which terrible, terrible planning if you're going to murder somebody, right? Freddie, the night Fre of the Super Bowl? Come Fre on. Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray is what you're yeah, The Freddie Gray Bridge. That'll be what it is. The Freddie Gay Gray Memorial Bridge. <laughs> this is Freddie Gay. I'm going to call it gay now. I don't know, man. It feels like George Floyd. It's, it feels like it's supposed to be the George Floyd Memorial yeah, has, Bridge. Was George ever in Baltimore? It doesn't matter if he was in Baltimore Probably. or not. It's not about where you're from. Ma fucking Malcolm X didn't live in Malcolm X Boulevard. I mean, and it makes sense calling it the George Floyd, because imagine how much fent goes through that bridge. Yeah, it, you, mm -hmm. that's it, it is Baltimore. <laughs> it's probably a lot. It <laughs> honestly, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's it's a lot. Now, yeah, I'm getting some I'm getting some <laughs> conspiracy theories from the chat. The most prevalent one is P. Diddy was trying to escape and was on the basically took over the, 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 the ship and crashed into it because he couldn't drive it. So That's, what you're saying is Diddy's into Sri Lankan booty boys? Look, yes. I think Diddy's into any kind of boys, if I'm being honest with you. Boys it looks like it. And it's always been there. I don't know why people didn't see it. Diddy's gay. Yeah. Diddy's gay. Everyone knows Diddy's gay. Diddles. Diddy being gay was something that in, that people in the industry knew for a long time, but no one ever said anything. LeBron James partied at Diddy's house a lot. I'm not saying there's any connection there, but that is a fact. He it's had violent. white parties. Why do you... Yeah, I know. And when I showed up, I was really disappointed. It's not what I thought it was. A lot of black people there. You wore a pointed hood to Diddy's house. I, well, you said it was a... <laughs> fuck off. You said it was a white party. He had... <laughs> He had a man slave go I was around wearing, with him with an umbrella. I was wearing my clan dress whites. Okay, do you understand me? Right. <laughs> Imperial oh, Dragon Royce. Thank you. <laughs> L. Just to shut no, up, I'm, 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 I'm he gave him a show. I'm Hispanic. L. Imperial Dragon Royce. <laughs> El Gran Wizardo. <laughs> We call him El Blanco. <laughs> la, like yeah, Kenny Powers, the Flama Blanca. <laughs> oh, fuck. And a half bridge so many Baltimore stories today. Harbor. And we well, see that's Tom tragic. Castellos right there at the scene for us. And Tom, obviously the concern is anyone who was on the bridge, members on the cargo ship. What can you tell us? What's the latest right now? That's right. This happened at 1.30 this morning. A sick God, now everyone's got to drive all the way around to get to the other side. Well, well at least it didn't happen during, like, rush hour. Some pointed out in the chat, though, this was Florida. That we would have already built it. The bridge would have been fixed already. We, we had a temp, we'd have built that bridge out there already fixed. Because he would be floating across the river on doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, Man, the that 
I gave you. Uh, it has all. You can see the car headlights on the fucking bridge. As oh, yeah, it falls. Th that video was taken down. The second one you sent me, the video was, was taken down. Uh, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, because it was really one super close. Structures, one of the pylons, if you will, holding up the Francis. How Cotton easy bridge, did that fucking bridge that come down to? Bridge, like, as you saw on that. Lord. You must construct additional pylons. Video collapsed. Well, when one one part water. of it goes, the rest of them go. Mm. A, a stunning scene here, and this is a critical... You know what they say, though? When God destroys a bridge, he opens a tunnel. Artery, the Francis Scott Key Bridge... Not in Baltimore. And around I don't want to go to Baltimore. Forget... Have you like, seen Daylight? It's, it's an old, old movie. movie. So, yes, uh, Sylvester Stallone, the yep. tunnel... I fucking used to... I've seen that movie more times than I could count, bro. Yep. Yeah, it also has Sylvester Stallone's son, which yep. is dead, who is dead now. Yeah. yeah. And he died in a tunnel. I don't know if that's he, true. A, well, a K hole. It was a. Well, so, okay, <laughs> so it's it some sort of tunnel. It's the yeah. tunnel. Port of Baltimore, which, as you know, is one of the nation's busiest ports. And so that is going to create a massive logistical headache this morning. The Maryland governor has to. Yes, that was a StarCraft reference. A state of emergency. Also, how am I supposed to fix the noise pollution in my city skylines now that the bridge is gone? Oh, I just put. A, has somebody tried hitting tilde and typing funds? That always worked oh, for me in Sim City. Fucking cheaters! Fuck off! I don't care. I'm a <laughs> cheater. I don't care. I bought the game. I do whatever I want with it, motherfucker. I do whatever I want in my game. <laughs> Secretary Pete Buttigieg in, char in, in contact, I should say, with the Maryland governor as well. Fire department and Coast Guard rescue operations have been ongoing since very early, searching for any potential victims who may have gone into the water. And we have heard there may be seven people who went into the water, maybe more. I wonder if pe Baltimore people are good swimmers. <laughs> no, they're not the good ship. swimmers. <laughs> How many Olympics have you seen where they're like, and from Baltimore? <laughs> Funny enough. None. <laughs> Funny enough, guess where Michael Phelps is from? Baltimore. Baltimore. Get <laughs> out of here, really? I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. Right. Why did I always think he was from Utah? my joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Thanks I a lot, Michael. Thanks, Michael Phelps, for being the one white guy in Baltimore. You fucked it up for the joke. Asshole. What a piece of shit this guy is. Hey, go someone tweet Mike, uh, Michael Phelps. Somebody said he's an idiot. Is missing. You'll know what it means. However, the concern is that no, there may have been constructed. He won't. He won't even look at <laughs> no, it. No, he won't. He doesn't even know I exist. You're he's like, like, who's he talking to? This guy's, this guy's <laughs> like. too busy dab dabbing up right now. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got to love. Remember when he was fucking hitting bongs and everyone's like, yeah, he's got to eat 20,000 calories a day. How do you think he does that? <laughs> A lot of calories. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when the bridge was struck, and that they may have gone into the water. As a result, this is a massive search and rescue operation, and it's being described by some at the Maryland State Police as an ongoing mass casualty incident. This is right along the critical I-95 corridor, which, of course, is is the critical artery up and down. Yeah. The East so Coast. when we go, when so we're heading up there, to drive in, uh, about a week and a half, we'll be able to pass that. Baltimore, be aware. Well, well try to jump it. Pictures. Go around it, maybe. No, jump it like the Dukes of Hazard. First off, that's not even big enough. That's way too big to even jump. There, no uh, trust me, there's going to be one of those like uh, car trucks that you drive in the ramp, and then you're going to hit it, and then you're going to clear it. Your brain always thinks that, right? You never do it, but you always think I could jump that truck. The car trucks, I could. Do I know, that. I know. You should let the dark voices win. You just let them, every once in a while. Let the dark voices <laughs> every win. Once in a while, just it makes, makes life you, interesting. Makes you feel good. Let me read some <laughs> of these donations. Uh, Dojo Taco Supreme. I can't wait for Fergie to drop another uh, bridge falling song. Yes, not it's no, no, no I don't think so. Uh, nothing better than boating slash yacht fails. Yeah, that's what that is. Slide Lego. Um, I used to commute on the Key Bridge regularly a couple years ago. Uh, in like this, add Old Bay to the wheel. Old Bay gets added to the wheel. Can I tell you that I had yesterday? I don't want to flaunt my money, but I went to Hooters. For dinner because you know the sad part about this is my guns were on that bridge oh fuck shit I every thing, single one same thing with all my bitcoin cold wallets Man, yeah it's, it's what it's what are responsible it's, that was <laughs> that's my fault actually yeah i don't know uh i went to i went to hooters yesterday because i wanted wings 
and we were trying some of their dry rubs, and they have an old, well, it's, they call it the Chesapeake, but it's an old bay one. It's very good. Very mm. good. May I recommend it? Uh, Bro, I'll throw Old Bay on almost everything. Old Bay rules. Old Bay is fucking yeah. amazing. I love it. Uh, oh, Chester, we have Old, old Bay in Canada. Uh-huh. Old Bay hard. in the look, Texas Pete hot sauce cocktail sauce. It's amazing. Uh, Gates of Above says, guys, I play City Skyline. Uh, bridges get built in like five minutes, so Baltimore's fine. No, no, you're thinking of Florida where bridges get built in five minutes. But if you make a highway bridge that's going north and then south that's hard to even like make it symmetrical and then there'll be it. and then there's then, then there's a lot of congestion at the entrance of the bridge mm -hmm. uh king of all pixels royce is the grand dragon imperial wizard of daywave i like the sound of that uh dojo talk supreme the bridge is a metaphor for daywave y'all keep knocking frozen down you all go down if frozen cannot be knocked down as a matter of fact some people were asking let's give an update what's on your list for this next challenge because remember tomorrow's the last day for the challenges, we're giving him a couple. We're giving him some time so he could. I thought today uh, was the last, and then we start tomorrow. Fuck! I thought he was gonna remember, not remember that. This little fucker in his goddamn memory. Yes, today's the last Shut day. Up. Yeah, fucking hate this. Today's the last day. What? What? What do you have on your thing? But hey, at least tomorrow we get to start a new wheel. The wheel of um, Wawa. the Wawa wheel. Miracle Whip, eight times. Basco, cool way, cool aid, two times. Age Gouda, panko breadcrumbs, capers, liverwurst, fennel seeds, wagyu, mm. Sm skyline chili, general so safe chicken. I still don't know why that's an ingredient. Pop rocks, canola oil, one raw egg. I get to do whatever I want with it. I know. Hab habaneros, vegetable shortening, McDonald's apple pie. Rem de Mint, Creole seasoning, masala sauce, cilantro, milk chocolate, beef liver, uncooked <laughs> ramen, <laughs> century egg. He's still going. He's still going. <laughs> blue cheese stuffed olives, bean dip peeps. This is way too much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to ask for something later. Like it. it this is too much. Peeps, Eggos, Molasses, Regular Mayo, Mandarin and sli sli uh, mandarin Slices and the Syrup, Honey Mustard Pretzels, Fun Dip, Lucky Charms, Tagine, Fish Sauce, Ketchup, and Canned Tuna. Those are all great ingredients. They sound delicious. Too many ingredients. Why are you it's two weeks? Can why are you screaming okay, at me? Okay, JJ, no. Doesn't matter. Two weeks, three weeks, a month. The problem is, is I got to... Fit this in in three courses. You could do more. That's, you could that's do, too you, much. You could do four courses. I Chopped told, only does four. Asshole! I told you you could do four courses. You could do it. Do you realize that we make these rules up as we go, and we can just yeah. do whatever they, we want? Frozen, Real, four, frozen. Right. There you go. You have four courses. Nothing is logical. Four, you want six courses? No, that's too many. Four. You know, sure. I watched Master Chef yesterday. I watched. It's funny you say that because I was watching Master Chef Junior. Go ahead. So yesterday I was watching Master Chef, the season two, and Gordon and G Gordon and Joe and Graham basically lambasted this fat Asian guy for putting too much shit in one dish. Well, I watched Master. Well, you have four. I watched Master Chef Junior, and he was Gordon was actually really nice to the kids. He's way nicer to the kids than he is to the adults. Oh, they are so nicer to the yeah, kids. Like, than they oh, are you the tried adults. so hard. He's so sweet. It's so funny. It's completely different. Um, yeah, well, I was watching one the other day, and they had an entirely different wheel where it told them how to make it, and it didn't just let them choose. That was fun. Uh, Hoshaki the second for ten bucks. Y'all see Nake Jared is continuing the drama with Crowder. Also remove Miracle Whip. I okay. Well, I can I remove a Miracle Damn. Whip. Remove or add? No, remove. He said, they said remove. They're trying to help Frozen. He spelled add wrong. It's removing. It. By the way, yes, I did see the Nake Jared thing, and I've already donated money to his GoFundMe, and I've already invited him on the show. So don't worry. Papa's, cool. are, Papa's already ahead of the game, boys. Papa's already ahead of the game. This show or ROTC? ROTC, the big, the yeah. big, the big one, the big one. <laughs> but he's been invited. <laughs> uh, Frozen. What are we at? What's our total? 
1886. Okay, so we're, we're, we're pretty close to another, another spin. And I removed Miracle Whip, by the way. It's been removed. One, one of them, but not just one of them. This Gates Off Above says, this is what you have to do to let, you do have to let the dark thoughts set in, John, because this is what happens. Okay, sweet. Well, I remember this. Yep. Good. Is that guy a Woo! Let's Whoa! go! Whoa! 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 Oh my god, points! He caught air. That kicked ass. Uh, if I remember correctly, that man died. Yeah, you think? Oh. I was going to be like, and he's okay. <laughs> he's got a thumbs up. Man, if you're going to do it, why not at WrestleMania, right? <laughs> wow. I want to see that again. I want to oh, see that uh, again, of course. real quick. Yeah, of course. It's the Duke boys are at it again. Yeah. Gonna watch. Good. Oh, he was not paying attention. Nope. He was not paying attention. God, he must have gotten 200 feet of distance. The song of my people. Never mean it no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. He was all like, there's no bridge in Baltimore. I gotta practice now. <laughs> yeah, so close, though. Someday the mountain might get him, but the law never will. He hit that square. Looks like those Duke boys are at it again. Oh my god. That is seriously. I mean, that's impressive how much distance he got, but he died, so. It's not. You can't count it. So he dies. He's definitely yeah. dead. We know that for sure. Oh, it counts, but it's post humanist awards. Uh, Dan Snot says, I personally like green olives, but not everyone does. Okay, green olives, go on. What's our total? 1896. Let's put the green olives on the board. I'm not a magician. Then why do you keep making your fucking eyelids disappear? Dojo Taco Supreme, make sure not gay Jared signs an NDA before laying a soft hog on his shoulder. <laughs> Johnny smiles. Frozen, hear me out. Make a video where you mix all the 7-Eleven con condiments, spices, creamers together for consumption. It'll be viral disaster chef moment. Yes, we're spinning. Oh, cool. We're spinning. Yeah, remember that for the Wawa challenge. That's what eating oh, by the way. Here we go. You ready? Just I'm feeling all comfortable now. Never mean it no harm. There's a lot of things on the wheel. Dang. The kick in the glass. Yes, we got Tang in this bad boy. <laughs> Just letting you know, this is gonna be. I'm gonna probably make icing miracle whip. Ew. You can pretend to be an astronaut. Uh, is this the best, best crash scene in a movie ever? $10 from Social Observer. Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. That's a high bar, but let's see. Wait, they have different flavors of tank? Yeah, there's different flavors. Of oh, this is, okay. Ferrari, mainly me got a crash scene. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> God, he does not like. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> oh no! Oh oh boy! <laughs> oh shit! Uber's wow. here. Wow! I think they. I think they're dead. And this is why you don't stand right next to like a racetrack or those rally cars. Every I don't know. time, every time I see that, I'm like, you guys are fucking crazy. Average white Retarded. man. <laughs> Let's put it over 2K total. Nothing to add. Just want to watch the wheel spin. Well, it gets to spin twice because you gave 100 bucks. Frozen, is that too, too many? Because I think you keep saying there's too many. And I think too there many. needs to be more. There needs to be more. 
Okay, then what do I do with it? I'm, Explain to me what do I do with it then? I don't know. What's your problem? Maybe we <laughs> drop. Maybe we start to do this. Maybe we start by dropping the attitude. Maybe if we start there, we can we can move on from that point. What do you? You think? heard the two K mark, right? Yeah. You realize we're all going to WrestleMania, right? Yeah. Stop pouting. That's correct. He's actually got a point. Are you ready? Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. I love this wheel so much. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. Never promise. But they fought with Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Nice. It could be canned. It could be canned. Oh, 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 nice. Hot sauce, baby. Now, we did. I remember this one. We didn't specifically pick a brand because everything's different everywhere. So you could pick whatever one you think is in your area. That's El Yucateco. What is it? Just Say it again. Hot sauce. El Yucateco. El Yucateco. Hot. We really get in there and get a healthy dose of that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that is spicy. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll allow it. Mm. I use that on my on my tacos. The ghost pepper one, right? So you already have it? Well, I, I ran out. I probably need to get a bottle anyway. Okay. Well, you needed more anyways. Just making sure. Oof. Let me see. this. What's the Scoville on these bad boys? Let's check it out. When it autofills Scoville, you know it's probably spicy, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, which one do you have, Frozen? Because which is the one that the the which one do you have normally? It has an X in it. Okay, then that was okay. Oh my God! You're oh, there's only one that has an X in it. Uh, the Kuti Ball Extra Hot, with spelled with three X's, habanero sauce. 10,000 to 12,000 Scoville level. That's very, very spicy. Can we have a comparison? Like, what's a jalapeno? Okay. How about this? What, want me to tell you Tabasco? Sure. Because that, 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 that's kind of the closest, right? Yeah. Uh, to... Which is the basic pitch of hot sauces, if we're being honest. That's a food item in Cincinnati. I that, you can't just twelve hundred. Like you can't what? Twelve hundred. Fry add fried chicken. Then I'm just gonna put a fried chicken on a plate. So it's roughly ten times hotter. Well, uh, that, that actually the the chicken gives you a chance to get some mayo or tang in there. I you mean, know you what's can, funny about the fried chicken is that you could have just broken the chicken up with the breading and everything, used a miracle, but made a chicken salad. Oh my God! Where's it gonna go? They get served a beef tongue. They know what to do. Where, with it. where, where is it gonna go? Where? I nothing mean, of this makes sense. First off, frozen, in your stomach, frozen. First, there's off, no logic. There's frozen. no nothing pairs together. Frozen. Nothing melts together. There's frozen. no harmony within frozen. the dishes. Frozen. Nothing. Frozen. I hear you. What's the total? <laughs> total. Twenty sixteen. Good year. Trump was that was elected. the last time I ever actually had any dignity. Trump was elected. That year, actually. <laughs> hey, for that fact, you should just spin it. I'm not doing that. No, I won't spin on. it. He's, 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 he's poor, poor He's guy. getting mad. It's fun well, to see I him know, getting... I know. But Frozen, I want Is you he... to remember that I'm not spinning it. Be nice to me, though. A habanero is 200,000 or 400,000. 10,000 is nothing. They're saying your hot sauce isn't hot enough. Okay, Frozen, I get you watermelon. Now they're calling you a bitch. They're saying In this that that... short amount of time. No, 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 no. I know that there's triple X habanero hot sauces at every grocery store. That's why I chose El Yucateco. Like, it's, it's there. El Yucateco seems like it's not as spicy. I'm glad that they're calling you out for being a little girl. I'm not calling you out. I'm telling you they're calling you out. I'm not calling you out. 
Want me I mean, to bring a bottle say, with me? It did say triple X. So. Oh no, I don't like spicy. It's too much spicy stuff. So no. Bring That's it on. More a you thing. If JJ's fine. Uh, this offends Frozen's culinary sense more than his stomach. Yeah, we know. You keep going. I'm going to get word salad to send Carolina Reapers to, to Royce, and then we will get them to you. I'm sure we could get Carolina Reapers there. Homegrown. Uh, <clears throat> we got some new scams, The boys. Allegheny County Sheriff's Office is warning about an Big angry oh, I, phone I wonder who it could oh, be. Oh, hi. <laughs> Throw the agent. Kind of long in the face, but hi. She could get it. She's good. The office says it's been happening over the past 10 days, and the scams seem to be targeting professionals in the medical and education fields. They say scammers are calling and telling people they've either missed jury duty or in order to testify in a case. And the scammers say the person's subject to arrest unless they pay a fine. Now, the payment is always requested. We've heard this one before. Requested via gift cards or payment apps. <laughs> it's a tip off right there that it's not a legitimate claim. If you get one of these calls, please report it to the sheriff. Do these people really think? Gift cards? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but these people really think that the that they're, the, any city is paying people to call people for missing jury duty? They don't do that. It's a boomer thing. It's got to be a boomer goes, thing. Man. We're Everything. like, yeah, yeah, it, it is. Uh, Gates up above is a new scam to collapse a bridge and then sell them one. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> now people could sell a new bridge, though. Oh, here's another scam. A solid gold scam to tell you about. Investigators in Montgomery no. County say criminals have conned elderly victims out of millions of dollars, convincing them to convert their cash into gold bars. Yeah, really just sad to see. One man was arrested this week, but authorities warn there are more out there. Ma'am, you're okay, but I'm looking at them legs and I'm starting to see some thunder thighs. Or home abash live for us in Rockville tonight with a more like Chunley legs. She's sturdy. Yeah, these losses are massive. Oh, she's better. Hey, home abash. What's up? One woman conned out of eight hundred thousand dollars, and these scammers bash. are smart. Oh yeah, more like, like I'm a bash. Safe. I'm a smash. Heartbreak <laughs> for people who, innocent people with good intentions, who get taken and get taken in a really bad way. The victim Gold in this case bars. was a sixty-four-year-old woman Jesus. living at Leisure World in Montgomery County. Are you, if you're really stupid, are you still innocent? Yeah, you're still innocent. Yeah. Babies are stupid. Because like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Babies are stupid. <laughs> Babies are stupid, but I, you know, babies are different. They're young. If you're like a 45 year old person and you're still stupid, I think it's kind of on you. Well, I mean, mm. it, de it depends on whether what you believe in IQ. Do you believe IQ is something that's determined at birth and you only have a finite amount of brain power? Yes, the, the first one. Okay, so then, then, then you, they are innocent because it's not that they can't be smart. It's just they, they literally cannot be smarter. They're as smart as they yeah. can be. Mm, Ret that's a perfect example. No. Retarded people, mentally retarded people, Down syndrome people. Yeah, they're, they're guilty. Oh, so <laughs> oh he's, not, he's not backing <laughs> down guilty. on this nature versus nurture thing. Hit that gavel, Royce. <laughs> Hold on, where is it? I got it. I got it. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just one of those guys who believes in imprisoning the mentally feeble. Uh, okay, so <laughs> anyone call, call below, me, let's call say, me, call me old fashioned. Call me old fashioned. So, I, I see where John, what what John is putting down. Um, so we basically take anyone who's below, let's say, a hundred grade point average, mm -hmm. and then we put them on an island, right? Huge island. They're guilty. Maybe they're guilty. Australia. Guilty. Guilty. And we mm -hmm. just ship them all on, on, onto Australia. Leave everyone who's above a hundred in the. A hundred is still pretty stupid, right? What's what's, yeah, what's the cutoff? Pretty then? stupid. A hundred is average, but the average person is fucking retarded. That's true. So, yeah, and I have a good point. Australia is not real. Not a real place. I don't think it's a real place. Older. Police say a man poses a federal investigator and convinced a woman to convert eight hundred thousand dollars of her money into gold bars to protect her from identity thieves. Then he acted as a federal courier and stole the gold. When a relative Sorry, realized I'm tired and I'm still thinking about the fucking food challenge. This man on Monday, when we son of California, as he came to pick up another three hundred and seventy-six thousand. That's not me. 000. He has hair. 
dollars in gold bars. This cash to gold scam has actually become such an issue nationwide. The FBI has. Gates have above. Hey, instead of IQ, can we separate based on skin color? Same thing. Interesting point, though. Flyers. It's worth it's worth kicking around. Maybe I, I think he's doing the skin color thing because he doesn't like Asians, but Asians also have high IQs, so they would stay. Uh, mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay, that's fair. Okay, to warn it's like how you separate M and M's. You know, you sort them out, and then you're. It's very satisfying. Right. So right. if you're not like I don't know a, a buck ten, then you guys are going to the island. I'm just. I, I don't know. I'm pretty stupid, so I don't know if I even make the cut. I don't know if I want to be on Retard Island. Now I'm worried. Not to fall I mean, you could be the king of the retards, though. I'd so that's same. like 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 idiocracy, like not sure. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. smart. That's a good point. Because I mean, if you look at it like that, it's not that bad. And that means that Island's gonna have a lot of hot chicks on it too, because hot chicks are pretty stupid. Absolutely, hot chicks are dumb. Pretty you know? girls, they're not. They you know, don't got a lot of brains. You know, mm -hmm. they're not. They don't. As wild. That's except, how I like them. John, accept our <laughs> uh, John, accept our wives. Right, they're brilliant. They're so smart. Oh yeah, right. Our wives are super. <laughs> In case Marie's listening to Day Wave, except for you, honey, you're beautiful and smart. <laughs> Good save. So beautiful. I said so I wasn't smart. any genius the other day. She's like, you're no genius. I was like, thanks, sweetie. <laughs> so everybody's going to the island. Guys, I'm like that, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Look, John, you're no genius, okay? Yeah. Like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh he must have heard the word retard what's up virgie <laughs> gates off above what about crime rates wait is it starting to, to be the same thing <laughs> and his audio's not working of course yeah i told you he's fucking retarded there he is what's up retard hey what up what's up retard it's Sorry, almost I like you heard heard the word retard and it just summoned you yeah, no, it's it's pretty much the case. Uh, yeah, I, I just seen the link. I'm sorry. I've been busy posting uh, Jared's fucking video under every post of Crowder's or anything that mentions him I, for like the past fucking hour. I already, I love I already DM'd him. I'm like, bro, you want to come on the show to plug at any time? He heart reacted. I think we're gonna get homie on. Based. And I mean, I and I and of course, you know what that means on ROTC. Time to bring back the Crowder training video. We'd stop for yep. a while, but now we bring it back. Fuck him, dude. Fuck him. Trying to fucking destroy a man's life because he's fucking terrified of what he has to yep. say about him. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Doesn't, doesn't like it. it. It's it's weird. It's weird that he would be worried, you know? Oh, no, it's because Jared has shit to say that's going to end his fucking right. career. Yep. Ah, it's going to get spicy. I hope he comes on the show. I hope so, too. There's a lot of people also, that are um, retweeting it. I'll tell you that. Enough is enough. A lot of also, John, um, they're calling you a good-looking dumb guy in the chat. Thank you. His I only heard the first part because <clears throat> he's so dumb. Because <laughs> he's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> His fundraiser is already up to twelve grand. Yep, I know. I Damn. gave. I gave a. I gave a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave money. I was like, I got you. I got you. Um. Yeah, man, Crowder is a real piece of shit, huh? Fucking piece of shit. Crowder wants a potato. <laughs> Crowder about to get a potato. <laughs> oh, he about to get a whole lot of potatoes. That would burn be, him alive. That would be fucking hilarious if somebody just started sending potatoes enough to the fucking enough. to the fucking to his studio. <laughs> Uh, Virgie, I have it on very, 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 very good authority. They've been doing that for a while. <laughs> oh, we're playing this? Yeah. I thought we were saving this for the main I mean, show. We'll you, need, you need that gavel. What does that gavel say again? Oh, the gavel. Oh, guys, I do it. It's true. My, uh, this is also busting it out. The watch it, watch it gavel. Because apparently Crowder thinks everybody that works for him is his wife. <laughs> Piece of shit. Fucking asshole. Enough is enough. This can't go on any longer, and uh, as the famous saying goes, sunlight is the best disinfectant. So, here we go. I'm currently being hey, legally That's not true, though. He doesn't treat his employees like his wife. Lawyer. He actually fucks his employees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, his wife. His, yeah, fucking his employees saw his cock more than his wife did. Yeah.
hell now, and it simply cannot live in darkness for another day. Uh, but I am asking for your help to fight back. First, some context. Uh, in late October of 2023, to my surprise, I was served these papers, a cease and desist from my former employer. It threatened severe legal action in the form of a lawsuit and demanded I cease communications with my friends. The scare tactics uh, of cease... <clears throat> All I'll say is, I consider Jared a friend, and I'll say nothing else. Cease and desist are generally to <gasps> intimidate, isolate, and eventually devastate. Uh, like most cease and desist, it also demanded that I swiftly provide uh, them written certificate of my compliance. I did not. Very Diddy-esque of him, huh? In the same delivery, I was also served these papers. A Rule 202 petition for my... What if it was Crowder that crashed into the bridge? On the internet. No, no, no. He's in the balls. I know I had to. Um... These documents were filed with the county court. No, of my Jared's family. the one crashing into the bridge. The bridge is Crowder's career. Yeah. Ah. Uh, place of employment, demanding that I be subject to an oral deposition under oath for. When, 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 let me tell you something. When Crowder offers you an oral deposition, it's not what you think. An unlimited amount of time where they were free to Why interrogate me. Why are these me. papers so slobbery? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> On pretty much any <laughs> private matter that they chose. Also, in this petition for discovery. Be a wife worthy, bro. And that I turn over documents uh, of all communications with more than a dozen of my friends and unlimited amount of unnamed person. Beefsteak Pig says, working for Crowder is kind of like working for RuPaul. You got to be gay in the first place. Uh, in any form and over an unlimited period of time. Jared's real upset because he didn't get the joke, man. Fucking Jared, the bit is that, that Crowder's dick... <laughs> Is icky, so like when he puts it on his, your shoulder, mm -hmm. it's silly. You get it? And when he goes, ah, I just came on you, dude. That's boys. Don't be a fag. Yeah. And when he sends you a fucking stack of legal paperwork telling you that he's gonna fucking ruin your life, it's just a silly joke. It's a plank. <laughs> it's a plank that you can't this, work in the industry. This. <laughs> This nigga made Crowder. I know. Nobody we watched know Crowder that. before we fucking before know. him, dude. Oh, he was all. I always said this. He was always funnier than Crowder. Always. Crowder has big Opie energy. Watch, uh, watch it. Leave it alone. Are you are the same thing? Yep. I did not. No, I did not for a few reasons. Uh, Number one, I have seen how this employer handles legal issues, and I, I feel Jared's pain. Why are you? Why? Don't what? start, because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna win. <laughs> and also, the show was way more successful without you. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it's that once the opened the door way. to legal abuse, it would never ever be shut. This is how they operate. In fact. Um, I'm not the only one uh, who's a current victim. My former employer is exploiting the legal system uh, to abuse others right now, all in the darkness, fully knowing that the fear and the risks it takes to speak up. Uh, this kind of harassment at the hands of the powerful. Crowder's going to make one of those videos again. I guarantee you where he's sitting there with his cool gun and his desk and be like, look, employers, we have to protect stuff, guys. And Mug Club members, they know I love you. And they're just, you know what? They're disenfranchised. They were threatening me. They were sending potato. <laughs> they, were se <laughs> they were sending. They were sending. a straight face. Come on. They were sending potatoes to my home. I was in fear for my life. That's why I had to scream at my wife at the top of her lungs. If anything, I'm the victim here. That's why you see me trying to tag on with Alex Rosens and all the other cool people that, by the way, were on our show first because I'm trying to be relevant again. Right, Crowder? Is that what's happening? fucking asshole isn't just designed to financially well congrats somebody. crowder you're relevant again <laughs> i was just thinking of, i was just thinking about this for just like you think alex rosen's like fuck really the day after i did the thing with him bro it's so funny because like every time every time crowder gets like some new big name or makes some big move like the whole world just shits in his face <laughs> 
Like, remember when they signed, when they did the Rumble deal, and then, like, mm. right after his wife divorces him? <laughs> it's designed to cripple their soul. And I wasn't about to put uh, my family on a, embark upon a journey down that road. Number two, I was not about to allow the privacy of my personal life, the trust uh, I have with my friends and the real, real relationships I have with them to be violated in such an evicted, vindictive and abusive manner. Something was not going to happen. Um, I received the latest article of legal harassment on Friday, March 22nd. 20- so this is like a few days ago. T24. Yeah. After new. months new, new. now of litigation, exhausting even the court with relentless amendments to their Rule 202 petition, my ex-employer was finally awarded their request for my oral deposition and any document or communication with my friends that they believe may provide any avenue to sue me or others. As it stands, uh, they await my forced cooperation. I will not. I will continue to... So wait a second. They're asking for his communications with his friends, right? Oh, and- yeah. No, 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 no. They're asking to have an unlimited time to depose him in a fucking room and go through all of his personal fucking conversations but what, with anyone but, ever. But, but, but first off, the reason I find this just inhorrent and unconstitutional is what about the other person in that communication? You cannot violate somebody else's privacy because one dude signed an NDA. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, he's subject to an NDA, but I'm not. You know what I mean? So if, if they send his DMs with me, he, you know, per, just as an example, just an example, right? Yeah. Like, you don't get to violate my privacy because you're going after him. You don't get to violate his friend's privacy. This is, again, Crowder's the good guy. We're just jealous of him. Right. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. To fight. Yeah, no. It's uh, because he's literally now, here's fucking the big evil. question is what was their entire reason for this harassment and the basis for their claims? Welcome to Louder with Crowder. <laughs> you <employee> <laughs> we know you're all excited to get started, so let's run you through your first day, starting with pre show. Walk Steven's dog. Feed Steven's dog. These are all real things that his producers have to do. Make Steven's tea. Important reminder. Deliver the tea to the studio about five minutes before runtime. Important reminder, make sure to place the tea on the right and the sparkling water on the left. Stock Stephen's fridge. I know for Sometimes a fact Stephen Steven Crowder wants gay. He drinks sparkling water, bro. I know for a fact people have been sending potatoes to the studio. <laughs> Those are yams. Those are sweet potatoes. True. It's still a potato. Still a potato, I guess. Those are the gay potatoes. Yeah, they're they're tropical. They're festive. Trivia potatoes. time. They're, they're like <laughs> potatoes, but they're a little sweet and colorful. What numbers do you press on a microwave? <laughs> <laughs> For hey, can minutes. someone uh uh put uh, a Crowder potato on the wheel where Frozen has to cook it with a microwave for two and a half minutes? Uh, Frozen was so so out there. You're supposed to make this is all supposed to go in a dish. I'm just saying Crowder potato. Then it's just there, it's just a potato. Yeah. It's added. Thank you. It's See? hard. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm is it a sweet potato a or is it like a uh one of the brown potatoes? Well, that's the problem is that the sweet potato has been a roommate with a brown potato for a while and his parents starting to ask questions. Yeah, integration doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Now it's mashed. No. Now you it's keep not the potatoes na- separate. Now it's mashed potato. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is this? That's right. <laughs> you are smart. Change my mind. Do Stephen's laundry. Hey, 
they hate us. This is why they'll always hate us. This is why Rumble will never like, will never fully respect us. Is because we keep fucking with the people that are on there, and I cannot help myself. <clears throat> I cannot help myself because these people are fucking scummy. And yeah, I, I, maybe I, those people don't need to be here. I, I I'll tell you this, man. I'll tell you this. Alex Jones, please, man. I understand you need the pushback, and I understand you need you need to boost your thing. But, dude, Crowder ain't gonna fucking go for you, brother. I'm telling you right now, he ain't no go, he ain't no fucking good for you. Do what you want. Do what you want. I don't think he's any good for you. Um, uh, True Wolf, Virgie, is that stupid hot bitch's fault for not being born a man? Jared is why I watched the show. I couldn't stand it once he was gone. Yeah, ex exactly. A lot of people will tell you that. The moment Jared left, nobody cared. Uh, Dojo Taco Supreme, I'm starting to notice that conservative influencers are way more litigious than leftists. Why is that? Oh, because you're Jewish. <laughs> um, King of all pixels. Crowder's potato also gets sour cream squirted all over it. Yeah, Crowder puts his potato on your shoulder. Because, guys, right now, if you want to help fight Crowder, let's watch this grift, boys. You're going to love this grift. You ready? You ready for this grift? If you want to fight Crowder, all you have to do is is head over right now to rotcstore.com and buy a Fight Like Hell with your pregnant wife shirt. That was approved by Steven Crowder's dad when he saw us at the locals headquarters. Like, oh, it's a nice shirt. So he didn't read the bottom, I'm sure, but he liked it. But he liked it. Our Fight Like Hell shirt is approved by Steven Crowder's dad. <gasps> Exclusively at rotcstore.com. Except no imitations. God, I wish I could get an opportunity to like run into Crowder's dad and be like, "Hey, so how's like it feel that like you raised what's a fag?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to have gay sperm come out of you? Yeah, you had gay sperm in your balls, you fag. <laughs> That's pretty gay. You made a big gay baby. <laughs> we're, we're talking about <laughs> Is it still a joke if you finish? You know, if you come, like, it's is not, it still you, a gay if, joke? If you, if, no, you, if you like, if you come, climax, if you come, it's not a joke anymore. It's a, life, it's not a joke. It's anymore. a, li it's a lifestyle. You have to say no <laughs> homo first before you bust. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle <laughs> choice at that point. I thought that well, was called. That... I, I thought that was called the butt punchline. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's well, gay. John, that's that. That's how we got a gay baby because he didn't say no homo. Oh, I thought we got a gay baby because someone molested mm. it. Yeah. Um, probably his dad. Uh. <laughs> I'm making an actionable statement. This has nothing to do with Daywave Radio. I believe 100% that Crowder's dad raped him in his asshole maliciously over and over and over again. Allegedly. We don't know that. I do. Also, I know for a fact I was there. I signed an NDA. Oh, this no. This does not also reflect <laughs> any of the Daywave affiliates. Thank you. This has no, nothing to do with us. Yes. Um, that was that, of course, was... Uh, that of course the person who who said that was uh, Steel Toe. Um, he's on right now. That was him, man. Steel Toe. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you said that about Crowder. Yeah. Um. Speaking Tuck of vagina. Speaking of being raped repeatedly over and over again, have you seen the new Bad Boys trailer? Oh God. In five. It's a segue right there. Three, Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. This is more for Martin Lawrence than it enough. is for Will Smith, right? No, nope, this is for Will Smith now, too, after the slap. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So now, also, Martin Lawrence isn't dead? No, <clears throat> no, just fat. I know those dogs fresh. Put them in. See? And yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Wanna deal with him, you wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. What? Th no, there's no way. He. 
Captain Howard was being Frank. Oh, that makes sense. Didn't the end of the last bad boy, they find out he had a son or some shit? What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers, fuck them all! That's the guy from The Matrix. I yep. Yep, this shit goes, but don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You're my bad boy? That's gay. That sounded really gay. You're my bad boys. I don't want to be a bad boy. You should be careful. Trailer core. Trailer core of the song that's already in the movie's named after. They're being set up, detectives. So, if I got this straight, are we going full Fast and Furious with Bad Boys where they went from being some Miami cops, detectives, to now international crime ring in a fucking helicopter, military helicopter? Yes. Cool. We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. Now they're, they're framed. They were framed. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No! It's Dale Wiper Bowie! It's flammable! I know Dale Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. I need nasty mice. Bad boy. I got this. What you do, though? Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Mm -hmm. Why? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. Uh, so I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, I'm cause a, she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. White people are dumb hillbillies with Confederate flags everywhere. And even though you were clearly stealing their stuff, they're the bad guys in this situation. Did Spike Lee direct this movie? It's, I don't fucking know, bro. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna shit. have to confirm. All hey, the JJ, bad guys are, are white people. Or a mixtape. <laughs> JJ and Virgie, are you Reba fans? Also, John. Mm, negative dog. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I found Bill Richmond's Twitter account and I was busy posting Jared's video on every single post he's done for the past two months. <laughs> he's a busy boy today. Pretty, pretty, pretty good move. <laughs> pretty, pretty good move, I would say. Uh, someone, oh, thank you. Someone did hashtag definitely gay Crowder. <clears throat> there's and a lot there's of Gerald's account. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Anyway, <coughs> no, this is about, great. I'm very happy about this. I, I finally, finally. Well, I'm about, not fancy. As There's the blacks would say, I'm finna get blocked. <laughs> I'm you surprised there are Reba fans in the now, chat. Now, here's a movie that I. They're 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 retarded. Here's a movie. Required <laughs> Rumble username. Did you see Infowars live icon in Rumble? Looks a lot like RTC Day Wave Night Wave. Now, I, Infowars isn't stealing from us. Calm down. And who cares if they did? And who cares if they did, bro? Infowars has done. Infowars, the one thing I'll say about them, they've 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 always been our boys, and they've never they've never done us dirty, dog. So I'm fine with them doing whatever they want. Uh, <clears throat> they actually had us on their show, unlike other fucking people. Anyway, kind of feel if you're gonna make a Rumble announcement, you should make it on like a show that's Rumble exclusive and not the quarter, and you're still on YouTube. But what do I know? Not bitter. Or it was oddly specific. It's not. It's yeah, because it was on purpose. I was saying what was happening. <sighs> it's fine. I want to see this movie though. You want another? Yeah, just leave the bottle. It's already sold. See, right there, you got me. It's John Claude Van Damme. Oh. I am in. Immediately in. I've I've seen this already, and all I have to say is all-encompassing no. He's still in pretty good shape, Van Damme, right? Oh, he's in amazing shape. Yeah. Rough night tonight. 
Also, much better actor than he was in the in the back in the day, dude. Yeah, and much better actor than Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Come on. Oh well. Those are the people. Ah, that, those are the people that made Power Rangers. Jaden. That is really does no end to stop. If I wasn't here to protect you, you would be dead like your mother. Your extended family business is complicated. Frozen is. I already said all encompassing. No, it's gonna be so he just movie. reminds that kid that his mom's dead. Yeah. Every like day, BTW, Every day. mom's dead. When remember he, when he <laughs> when he wakes up? The first thing he tells him. <laughs> Better get in the kitchen because mom's not making yeah, breakfast. Cool. Wait, I know that guy. It's like fifty first dates. Just every day shows him the same tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a twenty yeah, minute cool. crying session. <laughs> Better close. Holy shit! Is this the American Guile from the Street Fighter movie? Yes, it is. Gates. Need to start. Oh, fuck. Fucking uh, MGK's in it? Back out, old man. I said back to... You are a dead man. Nah, you're the dead one. You were the only shot. The Russians they took Jaden. Why would they take Jaden? It was a setup. I'm coming to save you. He did you want to do? A true vigilante. You made it personal. What you saw today was just a taste. I'm so sick of that noise they use in all the. Tr that, I hate that. It's very popular these days. Yeah. It's, Where's the yeah, kid? you can blame uh, the, the fucking MK Dark Ultra. Knight movies. No, uh, the Dark, Dark Knight, Knight movies yeah. when first yeah. started. Uh, the dude, you like, he did a bunch of shit with strings, and they're like the same samples. Yeah. Who are you? What the? F Remember now? I made a promise to your mother to protect you. Well, it would make sense though, because I said Inception. That was also Christopher Nolan. No. And he did the Dark Knight movies, correct? So it's just a Christopher Nolan thing. Yeah, it shit. is a Christopher Nolan thing. You're right, 100%. Yeah, yeah cuz it was that and that other movie he did too, the fucking time travel fucking movie that was terrible that I watched. I forget Tenet. For the rest of my life. Watch out. Huh. I'll watch it. I like I don't care if it's a dumb action movie. I'd rather have that. I like dumb action movies now. I would rather yep. have a dumb action movie than some gay fucking female empowerment injected fucking horse shit. Or some Will Smith vehicle to try to make his name better, yeah. Not garbage anymore. I exactly. <laughs> uh so uh let's see here you go. Hold on. Uh what are, what's our total at now, Frozen? 2016. Okay, 2016. Uh, wait, does that mean we spin? Hey, no. kid, your mom is dead. Mm -hmm. Have a great day at school. $2. Easy sloth. Because I, like, like I saw this dude. Warning. The following video you're about to witness Frozen. features mass calorie consumption performed by a trained professional idiot under the supervision of a day's worth of food. This guy's going to try to eat 50,000 calories in a day. For the average male, the no, fifty thousand calories. In what challenge. form, though? Is he gonna just oh. eat straight Crisco? Or? Oh, you're about to find out. Quite simple. Rule number one: I have twenty four hours to consume fifty thousand calories. Rule number two: There are no other rules. Mainly because of the absurdity of this challenge, I can consume anything I desire to get to that calorie goal. Peanut oh, butter, milk, disgusting. straight up I olive oil. <laughs> yeah, an entire humpback whale if I wanted. I'm not really sure why I'd want to do that, but. I think you get the point. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 50,000 calorie cheat day challenge. Speaking I would, of the I weird, would throw up. Speaking of the weird meat, 
for some reason, I last night I was like, I wonder if you can cook a, ca- a hump of a camel. And then I saw it. Apparently you can. Aren't they filled with water? Or is that just a cartoon? It's just all fat. Oh. Tomorrow, I got to eat 50,000 <laughs> calories. But before we do that, it's time to... I got to host ridiculousness. Go shopping. Yeah. It's just, it's all gonna be sugar. Yeah, that's I mean you can't eat stuff that takes up in your room. I'm gonna find out. That being said, how I, I'm well, gonna be alcohol has a lot of calories in it. Why doesn't you just get hammered? That, Wouldn't that work? It's not enough. It's not enough calories compared to sugar stuff. You are mm. the golden arches. Almost six thirty on the dot. Hi there. Can I get four hash browns, please? An apple Three pie. bacon, yes. egg, and cheese McGriddles, please. One orange juice, please. I'm sorry. Our orange juice machine isn't working right now. Okay. Caramel macchiatos. Can you do those hot? Uh, yeah. Would you like a small, medium, or large? Let's go ahead and do a medium, please. One cinnamon roll. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Take care. And then, of course, I'm pretty sure I've had Krispy Kreme in like every calorie challenge. So naturally, I had to. I mean, it here. makes sense. Krispy Kreme has a lot of calories in it. One, a hot chocolate, please. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Take care, right? Thank you. All right, folks. We got our deliciousness. Now it's time to get this calorie challenge. I don't challenge think do this. Underway. Is horrible. All right, folks. It's time to get this. Started. I want you to tell me Without when you would tap out, out frozen meal. during the day. I want Number you to know when you would tap out during the day. Fifty thousand calorie. That's a, uh, that looks like a good donut. Let's That's do this. Great. I would eat a donut. Oh yeah, we, yeah, th- John. I would eat a donut. Yeah, I'd eat a donut too, bud. They're delicious. <laughs> just like a, just like <laughs> I'd eat a donut. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> John's like, I'll sacrifice myself. I'll fucking eat two donuts. I don't give a fuck. Throw myself on that grenade. Yeah. They call him Hot <laughs> Bake John. Hot Bake John. I'm telling you guys right now, nothing hits like apple fritters. Do. Apple fritters are fire. Yeah. Can't go wrong with an apple fritter right now. I'm already full. I'm full now. Right now is where I'm full. All right, full. so we got... Two, four, six donuts left. I would do one more donut. Then. There are two types of people in this world. People that like filled donuts and people that don't like filled donuts. I I'm a person that loves filled donuts. I don't like, I actually don't like filled donuts. I like donuts. It depends on what they're filled with. If it's chocolate, Boston it's fine. Cream? I'm okay Boston with cream? Boston cream are good. If they're filled with nails, though, I don't want them. Mm-mm. <clears throat> or like caulking glue? No, I don't want that either. Wait, what's that in there? More Boston cream. That's a lot of food, bro. All right, so our first beverage is down. No, we got some hot chocolate. It's probably pretty full. Oh, Krispy Kreme. Not only do you do donuts right, but you do hot chocolate right. That's Ooh, a lot of sugar yeah, still. It's just, ah. Uh. Everybody Yeah, nigga, it's Krispy Kreme. They sell right. two things. Krispies and cream? No? Yeah, that looks so good. All right, everybody, Waller first. I'm sorry, I, I muted my mic, and this, then, like, I, I don't know, I couldn't get to the mute button. That was funny, John. I appreciated <laughs> it, John. <laughs> Thanks, Virgie. We can always do this food challenge. Hi, I'm Trevor Moore, and I just saw the hit documentary, Super Size Me, where filmmaker Morgan Spurlock ate nothing but McDonald's fast food for 30 days to see if it really is healthy to live on such a diet. Well, today, I'm going to try the exact same thing, except with whiskey. <laughs> you were saying, John? <laughs> fun, fun fact about this, he was actually right drinking. Oh, I know. He fucking hammered in this whole sketch. He's calling the whiskey company. Hello, and thank you for calling Distillery, this is Bethany. How can I help you? Um, hi, my name is Trevor Moore. <laughs> I am doing a documentary on whether or not it's uh, healthy Chats to drink nothing already saying whiskey for has already days. tried this challenge. No, but listen to what he asked him. Just listen, listen. Uh, healthy to drink nothing but whiskey for 30 days. Please hold. Hello? Uh, hi, my name is uh, Trevor Moore. I'm uh, doing a documentary, uh, kind of like the Super Size Me documentary. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink nothing but whiskey for 30 days. Um, and I'm not going to eat food. I'm not going to drink other drinks. I'm just going to drink whiskey for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
and uh, just to see if that's a, a healthy way to live. Uh, what do you think about that? If not, you shouldn't do that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You shouldn't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you don't believe in your product? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I would have done. <laughs> well, then why do you guys say that everybody should do that in your advertising all the time? We don't. We've always taken a very responsible. Whatever. Okay. So it's day one, and I just woke up, and I'm feeling pretty hungry. So, made a big glass of whiskey. So here we go. We start down the hatch. Hmm. Ooh, oof, yuck. You don't like straight whiskey? No. I'm still pretty hungry. (laughs) (laughs) Drinking on an empty stomach, too. It's a... It's day two. And, um... You can can tell that, um... It's, um... Not good for the uh, already not good for the uh, body. It's get it's harder to drink it now. But it's um but I'm hungry. So. I love that he's smoking a cigarette too. Is he gonna die? I mean I know he dies in the end. Yeah, like spoiler alert he dies. Oh yeah, pew! My girlfriend wants me to quit the experiment because <laughs> she's worried about the effects the whiskey may be having on my body. <laughs> it's day eight of the experiment. And Barbara's still mad. <laughs> <laughs> the face he makes when he turns around. It's only a week into the experiment, and it's already having an effect on our sex life. <laughs> you made out with the coat check girl. <laughs> that coat check girl has a name. <laughs> Cody. Cody. Cody Ann. <laughs> we went to dinner. <laughs> you can see down here that I've got a. Uh, this is my favorite part. Pretty bad bruise on the on, on my right side. I uh, woke up this morning and. Uh, had that there. I uh, I can't help but think that maybe a cause of uh, the chemicals in the whiskey that are having an effect on my liver inside of my body. <laughs> you guys think I can jump all the way down these stairs and land on my side? <laughs> 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 Fucking love him. I, I got one for you, Papa, because that chick was only on one episode. She was only on uh, the first episode. and I think she only did like two sketches with them. I just sent you the other one. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> We've been trying for about three or four months now to... Pardon? Yeah, I think this time it's. I feel good about. I do too. This time. Yeah, um, we've been wanting to have kids for quite some time. I think we're ready, both of us. Yeah, we're both ready. Both ready, ready together. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is it. I can't read it. What's it say? What's it say? That's my iPod shuffle. You peed on my iPod shuffle. You're such a stupid bitch. <laughs> if you've ever been around me and Marie, this is exactly how I talk to her, too. That's how I talk to my wife. I got some delicious It's, it's, it's fucking hilarious in public, too. Oh, in public, it's fucking great. When, when, when public is great, like when we were at the live event, 
um, obviously a lot of the Spurgs uh, that don't normally like see women were like telling Marie, like, oh, you're so pretty. And I walk by, the one goes, oh, yeah, you're so pretty. And I go, let's calm down, giving her compliments. She doesn't deserve them. And I just kept walking. <laughs> 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 Uh, my, my favorite from my wife was one time fucking she was talking to her mom in like her mom's yeah. kitchen and i don't remember what i just caught like the tail end of it and she just she turns to her mom and goes mom a woman's place is in the kitchen oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> and she's turned around and looked at me and it's like <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> I remember many years ago. Well, we we do this a lot, but many years ago we were in a we were drunk and we were in Key West. And we were walking down like Duval Street, and we would do this thing where we walk by people, pretend we're fighting, so then way the rest of the night, those people are like, what could they have been fighting about? Like, what happened? So we we're walking by, and one of my favorite ones, we walked by this group of people. They were having fun in like Keys, Duval Street, and I go to Marie, I go. That's why I made you get the abortion, you stupid cunt. <laughs> just like that. And she just sells it. She makes a face and puts her head down. Where a guy walks up and says, is everything okay? We're like, we're just fucking around. We are, we're kidding. <laughs> and mind your so fucking funny. business, pal. <laughs> fucking Marie is one of like the funniest people I've ever uh, no, met. I know. Like, don't don't, don't tell her that. Fucking though. hilarious. Don't tell her that. Mine, though. mine thought she... New Mexico was part of Mexico. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah. Hey man, I know. Mine doesn't know the lif- difference between left and right. You know. Uh, I have this. Uh, I have this Japanese friend who was fucking this retard for like a week or two, mm-hmm. and he had her convinced that he was colorblind and that all Asians are colorblind because of their squinty eyes. I like that. Oh, here, I, I, <laughs> here guys, guys, remember. Oh my God, what happened? D- d- did he hurt you? Hey, she's fine. We're fine. She doesn't look fine. Are you, are you ready to die over this? Seriously? Is this how you want your hike to end? Hi, I'm John Hamm. Over a hundred percent of all domestic disputes are just two people trying to work stuff out. <laughs> you getting involved isn't going to help. You don't know what's going on. I don't care what you think you see. Just keep your eyes down and keep walking. (laughs) For more information on how to not get involved, go to www.don'tbeahero.com. And that's how it's a great way to live your life. (laughs) Don'tbeahero.com. Fuck. 50,000 calories. And the griddles. But believe it or not, this is actually the pre-breakfast. My bigger breakfast is actually going to be... See, Frozen, you're complaining. This time I'm not making 50,000 calories. What's the total, by the way? 2018. Okay. A little bit, but I wanted to get a meal in before I go for my run after I finish this. So I'm going to save them the griddles. It's about where it started to go to shit. It was 2018. Yeah, right around there. Right around there. Deliciousness for breakfast. But I have to get this. I'm out. starting to think we've reached the end of the road with this. At but I this, can't you know. let you go. It's so natural. Ooh. What? The, the I know what we're doing for karaoke next time. Uh, no, I can't do that one. There's this guy that does it really well at my bar. Oh. This is what I think it is. It's a black guy. Oh. Nothing hits like McDonald's hash browns. A hot McDonald's hash brown is really good. Yeah. I, like three dollars for one. Now. Is that how much they are now? You fuck. Remember? Yeah, I'm not remember kidding. when they were a buck? Yeah. <clears throat> there for was a, a time where a potato. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. There, there was a time uh, at our McDonald's that they did the two hash browns and you put a sausage patty with cheese in. Really? We didn't have that here. That sounds good. Yeah. I mean, I, you can just order it and do it how you want. Yeah. See, I get a McGriddle and two hash browns. I put the egg and the bacon in the hash browns and then get jelly, the grape or the, or the strawberry. And then right. I put that on the McGriddle tops and their little pancake bites. Oh, that sounds so good. Fucking it's hungry. Fucking God funny. damn it. I'm fat. Frozen, how many, how, many, how many Miracle Whips do you have? Eight. Okay. Eight. So are you going to put Miracle Whip on the apple pie just to get one out of the way? Oh, by the way. Here we go. I hate Major Tom right now. 
Uh, why? He's why? such I hung, a fantastic I, 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 presidential candidate. Yeah, I hung out with Major Tom for, for a bit. He's an cl- awesome dude. I thought Tom was my friend. He's not. He's my friend. What are you so mad about now? Yeah, well, here's the reason why, JJ, and I think you know why, JJ, but because he's really mad because Major Tom pointed something out to me. Major Tom pointed out to me that there is um, there's this cookbook called Craft Miracle Whip Cookbook. Now, as you can see, there's none left. And the reason that there's none left is because I purchased the last one, March 25th, 2024, <laughs> which is a Craft Miracle Whip Cookbook spiral bound craft miracle whip. A hard hardcover, huh? I paid twenty bucks for this, but yeah, because I don't want any food getting on it. I you know? paid. I by the way, Froze, it's going to be here, and I am bringing it to hand it to you in Philly. I'm handing it to you. Uh, you should uh, sign it first, Royce. I will. Royce, when is it? When, when is it coming in again? Uh, it'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow should be the book should be here tomorrow. Yeah. And we're gonna give it to you in Philly. Oh no, not tomorrow. You're right. It's you coming said April third. April third. Oh no, I can't give it to you. What him. are you leaving? Fuck. I'll get it to you. Don't you even worry about it. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? No, it's fine. Uh-huh. That's fine. The next time Pessy comes, I'll just hand it to him and he can hand it to you. Just ship it to Pessy. I'll just ship it to you, Frozen. You think I give a fuck? You forget No, you know what? No, no, no. Fuck that. You know what I'm gonna do, Virgie? Even better. I have a scanner. I'm going to scan the entire book, and I will take my time just to make him miserable and send him a PDF of the entire book. That way he has a digital copy of it, and I'll keep the sweet original hardcover for myself. See, I think we're, the reason why we're not winning against Frozen is we're letting him do what he wants. I think Frozen should be getting recipes and having to follow the recipe. Then no one should make put in modifiers because i'm not following the exact recipe i'm just saying uh let's see here wow did you know that there was more than one miracle whip cookbook i'm not even kidding you bro well yeah, it was like an annual shipping. thing did you know there was a night i could buy an ebay right now oh my god life is good i could buy an ebay right now from 19 uh it's from 1960s i didn't know that the miracle whip recipe book oh shit look at this fruit kebabs vegetable hey. kebabs eggs ranchero huh fondue oh, my oh is that oh, jelly dear. is that a jelly mold oh how long um, would it take to get here like i said just ship it to him it's no, because it's, it's 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 international shipping. I don't think that this, oh. this person only ships in the U.S. Oh yeah, there you go. The only thing Miracle Whip should be used for is the white sauce they serve at fucking Mexican restaurants in Virginia. That is it. That yeah, is all. Okay, so shit's fucking lit. He is protesting by eating bread. Mm. Technically a bruschette. You know what's funny about that, JJ? There's no cheese in it either, and they call it that. Hmm. There's no cheese in it. It's it's just seasoned Miracle Whip, bro. It's good, though. It's good as a bitch. Yeah. It's the seasoning. And, yeah, dude, there is cheese in it because I made it for a Super Bowl party last year. No, there's no cheese in it, dude. You're not supposed to put cheese in it. I have the original recipe from the dude in Norfolk who came up with it. Huh. Yeah, there's no... I mean, it is good with it in there. I'm not saying yeah, you're wrong for doing it. Does it. I know our La Coretta does it with the... With the a little bit of cheese it, in it. I mean, it might just be like out where you are that that's yeah, the that's, that's how they the do variant it. Variant of it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And dude, I just learned this like a year ago that they don't have it outside of Virginia. Like it's not a thing. What, like, like I know else. exactly what you're talking about. What about what about this book from 1983? How many of those are there? What about this book from 1983 called Cooking with Miracle Whip Craft Recipes Cookbook? Look, see? It's enough to keep you miserable forever. Hmm? Wow, that's pretty good. And you know what's funny about this one, guys? And I just noticed this. You know what's funny about this one? If I were to buy it right now, I'll get it Friday, March 29th. So that way you can just hand it to him. Buy it now. Hmm. I wonder how many of those you can get. I wonder how March many 29th. I could get by March 29th. Let me go ahead and just pay with it. Every time now. Frozen turns around at WrestleMania, you just set it somewhere and point it. Look, it's following you. 
Or just hide it in like the cabinet and he Shit. opens the cabinet and there it is. You can't oh, get Lord, away from Lord. it. <laughs> Hungry? Pay with PayPal. Oh, man. What the fuck, man? I love making Roy spend money. It's fun. What are you eating, faggot? A bruschetta. You just have bruschetta on hand. And you you do this. And now you know that I feel now definitely no sympathy for you with what I'm about to do. All right. It'll be here. I have to taste freedom, Royce. It'll be here. It's been ordered. So, yeah, uh, you're going to have the 1983 one as well. You're coming to f to fucking Philly. What is more free than Philly? Aside that you can't smoke on the fucking goddamn. Oh, yeah. God damn it. What are you guys going to do for that? Because you, Mersh. I'm going to. We can't get. We, can, we got to gotta smuggle in the vapes, man. No, hey, what no, about uh -uh. this? What about this? What about this one here? I'm just going to chew gum and use that fucking person. Somebody tipped me off to this. What about this? What about <laughs> Russell's home? Oh, fuck you, Blin. <laughs> I, I didn't say I didn't say it was Blin. I just said somebody tipped me off. Oh, no. Why did Blin in the chat say, Royce, check your DMs? Blin, was, I thought you were my friend. He was just it's unrelated. He was DMing me and you don't want to buy this book. Why not? <laughs> Jesus. Lynn, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I mean, Frozen, stop being homophobic. Oh, it's just a couple Jesus boys. Man. Oh my god. It's just a Banana couple boys. It's just a couple boys. Why is it all gay? Hey, hey, Tom Holland, is this you? Um, I'm trying There's a to lot of chocolate her. covered bananas in this yep, book. Yep, yep. <laughs> wow. You get so mad. Frozen. Maybe you should make yourself a nice creme brulee. You think with Mitch, with Mitch, yeah. Do you want one ten? One ten. I mean, we're... why did the Jews get kicked out of another country? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Not a hundred nine anymore. <laughs> Damn, that was a good line. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun around these parts, huh? <sighs> oh, our hot chocolate. Our caramel macchiato, assorted donuts, and four hash browns are done. So it's about 7.18 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. I mentioned it earlier, but I do have a restaurant challenge planned for later. So that, along with the fact that I gotta eat 50,000 calories today, there's a lot of stuff I gotta manage up here, okay? But I'm gonna try to pace myself to the best I can. Now that that's out of the way, I gotta get my health and fitness on. Oh, so I mean, that makes sense that he goes for these, uh... He needs so he has to, to burn, burn it all yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The run is all done. Now I'm going to be attempting to eat 50,000 calories today. There's no way I'm going to be burning 50,000 calories. So that's why I'm getting all of my activity out of the way as early in the day as possible. Now that that's all done, it's time for breakfast. Number two. Reese's Puffs is alpha tier cereal, by the way. This is the breakfast. Not a cereal games. guy. Hey guys, Frozen's not a cereal guy. Ha! <laughs> I'm try to stay away from <laughs> you should calories. shut the fuck up. <laughs> More often. What's the point? Lucky Charms is already on the fucking list. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, all right, man, you guys suck. You should have put Lucky Charms without the marshmallows on the list. You should have made him pick the marshmallows out yes. of the Lucky Charms. Oops, ooh, oops, no marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Charms oop, Wait, no, oops, oops no marshmallows <laughs> No point part. I'm just <laughs> letting you know right now Don't yell at me Say, Talk to me nicely We're friends it's, Oops all horse feed <laughs> This is a bag of oats <laughs> yeah, <it's okay. laughs> Or as I'm I call it Kick cereal what, go Why ahead. are I'm you going... screaming at Why everyone? Why are you frozen? stepping God on my great it. lines? How do they talk? What's your talk? No, I no, no, no. Now you're doing Shirani. Speak up. Yeah, dude. Now, now it's fucking. This is ridiculous. Find your voice. Stop the abuse. Free frozen. I'm not. No doing... more bad food. Mm, yeah. Say their names. Frozen. I don't care about your little stupid, your little free hashtags. Nobody's on your side. Everyone's on our side because. Free for what? Well, when, when, when every time someone's on my side, you guys block them. Yeah, fat gang, rise up. 
I've noticed Tim hasn't shown up in a while. Wonder why? Oh, he's been here. He just learned his lesson and stopped saying gay shit. <laughs> I like your I like your glasses, Frozen. I can give him Merce glasses too. Hold on. Where did I put them? And give them the yeah. hat and the beard. Oh no, they're gone. They're in a different place. No, I don't want the Merce. I too late. I, I I lied. I don't know where where I have it actually. Ahem. So mad. Uh. Oh, during my calorie don't challenge, interrupt my video today, frozen. all of that went out the window high calorie shakes are an essential instant frozen look oh yeah the semen rest we've already hours. talked about the semen cookbook my friend the other essentials are peanut butter and nutella royce already said no to that and i don't want cum frozen loves cum and i won't give him stuff he likes see what i did there it's called the compliment sandwich and you're eating a real one. Fucking suck See? my cock, you piece of shit. Who do you See? think you are? See, Tim's Hold here. on, hold on, JJ. This is a free one on me. we broke them they usually no. have it in like in um <coughs> in like whatever grocery store you go to it's typically next to like mason jars and shit mm -hmm. frozen did you see that tim showed up oh tim's here yeah, i'm here to free frozen you mean uh bye tim oh man we're having so much yep i can get it i know where i'm getting i can get it i mean so much fun here i mean everyone but frozen I was until we started doing this again. Coconut oil. You lots, should just do like a head oil. cheese with Blend all the all shitty ingredients. <laughs> look, look, frozen eats such, such like decadent fucking breakfasts, right? And ladies and gentlemen, you've got three entire days worth of calories that you can pour directly into three of your favorite cups. It's <laughs> a lot of milkshake, man. Oh, all right, give me so a tummy ache. Uh, Gates up above Royce sent me a night letter after I supported Frozen. It's true. I did. That's actually a fact. Uh, Agent of Hydra, add barbecue sauce. Okay. To the wheel. BBQ. Add. Um, what's our total, Frozen? 2038. 2038. Good year. I'll be dead, hopefully. Um... <clears throat> By the way, this oh, is the most we got we've ever everything had assembled in one and of these. And I know. Again, it was an accumulation over two weeks. I know, I know. No, not even really two weeks because we're ending it today. Mm. Ready to go. Just so you guys know what time it is, it's about 10 20. Someone said, Poor team. It's like being a conservative on Reddit. July 15th. We have McGriddles. We have these pancake hot pockets right here and a mashup cereal. So I'll be honest with you. I would probably go for the McGriddles first. That's me. I don't know how I would tackle this because I, I would throw up. I could not eat that much food. But I would probably go McGriddles first. I would I would just not eat food at all, and I would eat, like, just sticks of butter, one oh. after another. Oh, John, let me just tell you. What if I told you that in the middle of this, this what if I told you in the middle of this, he also does an, a local food challenge at a burger place in the middle of doing this? After eating all, watch. This guy's nuts. Just watch. Board just came okay. out. And of course, we have these epic shakes right here. I don't know about those, but I wouldn't buy them again. I'd eat them again. Some of the hot pockets. Again. Just pretend like they never happened. Yeah, it's too much cereal at once. It's going to get soggy, man. Also, oat milk bag. No, no he, pulled the, he poured the milkshake in there instead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's so incredibly base. That's so chocolatey. That's too chocolatey. And I like chocolate. Do not get me wrong. Pleasantly surprised. He's in the bad. mashup. I was gonna get a fire. Subscribers. Because I love you guys. 
Bro, I'm already so full. How many calories has he eaten so far? Oh, he went for a bike ride. Well, that makes sense, I feel like right? I just took a bath in Reese's peanut butter cups. The bike ride's down. Now, it's time for a burger challenge. How's it going? I had a reservation. After all that, he went to go do this burger challenge. Reservation, I think. For it's the Hall of Fame burger? And let me spoil alert it for you. Not only does he do it, he broke the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right at table 19, which is our main table. Okay, sweet. Say what you want, man. I love Katina, but just like in every other sport, in professional eating, men are still the best. A few of my friends actually have done this challenge before. My friend Natter did this, and Kevin Ross did this. I think they did it in just around 25 minutes. And also, Reyna did this challenge. Oh, we've covered her before. I think Reyna is the one that has the record for this at like 22 or 23 minutes. Kinda now like I'm going to show you guys this burger being made. <laughs> Only four out of a couple hundred people have ever completed the MVP burger challenge. Today, after about 16,000 calories, I hope to be the fifth person. This burger challenge features three massive one pound burger patties okay. that are topped and stuffed with delicious cheese. They also add in some pulled pork for extra delicious. Let's go. Deliciousness, Ooh. Grilled onions and jalapeno peppers. All just right, to make I love that. How come I'm not allowed to do these ones? So far, so good. Layered with garlic aioli. Do you think you could do this? You think you could do an actual food challenge and win? I'm, I'm, I'm asking for real. I'm not even as a joke. I mean, do you think you... I think could, you could do it. For extra deliciousness. They also add in bacon, because what's a burger challenge without bacon? And to add some much-needed crunch to this burger, they throw a ton of crispy Ooh. onions on top. I love crispy After onions. that step, they sandwich another patty in between those crispy onions. Hell so yeah, you're not wrong. Let's go. At this point, how this massive burger is going to be staying together, you'll crispy. find out in just a few seconds. To balance out the 8,000-plus calories, they add some healthy vegetables to the mix. <laughs> And the final patty is loaded on top. Wow. With some pulled pork. As someone who's done multiple burger challenges over the years, the addition of the pulled pork is what made this burger challenge truly remarkable. As we near the completion of the burger, they load up the final pulled layer pork with is some jalapenos, good. peppers, and onions. And then it's topped with one final slice of Texas toast. To keep this masterpiece from falling over, they stuck it with some skewers. But the secondary purpose for the skewers was for the topping. Some onion. Rings. Oh, good. Now the burger's the main. In case you thought it wasn't big enough. You need to get in some complex carbohydrates, so they made sure to add fries on the side. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the bread already has complex carbohydrates. Gentlemen, it's game time. Can I say that it was smart to use a thick piece of like Texas toast because that will not get as soggy as a regular bun with the grease? Mm -hmm. The burger's eight thousand seven hundred and twenty calories. That's like. Almost three times the amount of calories I burn in a day. All right, everybody. So we have the MVP burger right here. This is delicious looking. I'm not really too sure if I want to go for speed or if I want to enjoy. Remember, this is after eating what he ate. This one. I also got some fries over here. And unfortunately, we have pickles. I'm not the biggest fan of pickles. Fucking weak. You're weak. You're weak. Three, You're two, weak. and You're weak. one. Real men eat pickles. So he does it. All right, everybody. So oh. I've done a lot of burger challenges in my life. That was the best by far. Big shout out. To so he did it. New record. He did it in under 10 minutes. Yep. Dear Lord. And then Bro, he, what? Right, the record yeah, before, I'll take like, one. below him or like the, the fucking current record when he started was 22. Yeah. Mm. This guy's a machine. Right, folks, so we Cut it in uh, half. Crush that burger challenge. This is my victory. Dessert. This is the thing with the skinny dudes, man. He's having a frappuccino after that. You know the secret of strawberry frapp is? There's no coffee in it. Sensational. This is a strawberries and cream frappuccino because I gotta get 27,000 calories already. That's amazing. I, I mean, I know I would be puking. I would already feel Half myself way. puking. Today. <laughs> gotta do a little physique check right now for you guys because you're probably wondering. Here comes the food, baby. Yep, there it is. There it is. I can see your six pack. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back home. I'm gonna take some recovery time and then get into meal four. If I survive the ride. Oh, come on. Now it's time to make meal number four. For meal number four, I realized Hell that I yeah. go back to doing what I do best. Creating sugary masterpieces that no sane human being should be eating. Themselves, at least. 
since it's summertime and I love s'mores <laughs> and I love cookies, I decided to make a massive 5,000 plus calorie Nutella s'mores cookie. Now, since this is loaded with calories, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it fit in perfectly with my diet for the day, as did this DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> yeah, dip point, that in butter. This is becoming incredibly limited, which is why I had to- Well, keep an eye on that olive oil, John. Go back to okay. the shakes. Oh, those delicious, delicious shakes. To maximize my calories, I added in this Toblerone bar and some olive oil. And as to be expected, he added olive oil into his milkshake. Did some Hershey syrup. And just like that, I had about a day and a half worth of calories. And to finish things off, I added in some cookies. You know, watching these food challenges really shows you how many calories foods really have. If you're not paying attention, how much calories food really have. And some trail mix. Actually, a lot of trail mix. All right, everybody, so it is time for meal number four. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, right now, it's- You don't feel uh, like this eating? This is where it really gets, really gets difficult, but here we are. It's been a long time since I've done like a crazy- uh, Do we have mousse? I bet that would be good with Miracle Whip. Like chocolate mousse or like a mousse? Like the animal mousse? Or the character from Parker Lewis? What or the hair product? Well, I'm just gonna put moose in there and then we'll figure it out if it lands. NHL hockey player Mark Messier, maybe. Uh, instant A says add uh, hog head cheese, it might have a different name in Canada. What is that? Oh, head cheese. Oh, head cheese. Yeah, I can do that. Head. Do you, do you not know what this is? No, I know what it is. I th but he said hog oh. head cheese, and I was like, I'd have, yeah. I know what head cheese is. Um, it's disgusting. What's our total? Frozen's not even 2058. Frozen says it's 2058, which means we spin. He's not around, but he sent it to me, a messenger. It means we spin. He's pooping. I love that. Oh, this is great. You just put all that bruschetta and bread I, in there. I love so how good Frozen, how good of a producer Frozen is that even in the bathroom, he told us the total. Yeah. He's the best. <laughs> People are right, Virgie. You fucking suck. Um, I've never argued that. <laughs> never <laughs> once. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ferdinand Ferdinand doesn't like liver. He told me he doesn't like. It's his least favorite oh, organ meat. Fun. It's his least favorite organ meat. But he's not here and he's not saying anything, so I'm sure he's fine with it. I'm sure he's fine with it. Say something if you don't want to do this. Frozen too late. Easy calorie challenge like this. So uh, trying to do the I best I can. I, I just gotta say, if you guys are enjoying the video, it would mean the. It's like I was watching this yesterday, <laughs> and it was making me sick watching him eat it. I don't me, feel good. Like is, him eat cause, this because your brain is telling you what you would feel like if you did it. That's yeah, why. I'm like, ugh. your brain I had a is big telling. breakfast too, yeah. so I'm like, ugh. And, and <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because you guys get to see more craziness like this. Because if this video gets fifty thousand likes, I will do this every single day for an entire week. Impossible. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely kidding. Uh, but you should like the video anyways. Anyways, everybody, what time is it? Goodness, 8 o'clock. Goodness, time flies when you're having fun. Uh, he looks miserable. Okay, so it is 8.07 right now. You guys can see the time right there. So I've... How many calories does that have? 500, 3,000, 5,000. It seems like I forgot something. Miscalculated something in my calorie totals for the day, so I do indeed have to finish this pack of Oreos. Okay, anyways, folks, we have a 5,000 calorie s'mores Nutella cookie right there. Like, that is, whoa. I've made a sizable dent in this Nutella jar, all right? Uh, I also made two very high calorie shakes again. I put some olive oil in here for easy calories, along with some Hershey syrup. And then we have our plate of easy calories right here with some cookies. Oreos in a lot That's of trail mix. That's too much shit, bro. 
So if you ate 2,500 calories a day, which is a lot of food, that's like a standard amount of food. This is 20 days worth of food. Correct. That is correct. So it's more cookies and a month. It's always <laughs> skinny dudes that could do this. Have you noticed that? It's always skinny dudes. He's going to be star of the show. They can expand. Yeah, that's true. Oh, snap. Oh, yes. Here we go. Nutella. I mean, that looks good. I might lie to you. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but it does take a lot of training to be able to. No, do no, it does. Like if you watch what they do, it's bad. It's like. Yeah, they expand their stomach and try not to eat a lot of calories, but keep their stomach expanded by eating like a bunch of salad and a bunch of shit. Like they have to eat a lot to expand their stomachs for this shit. That is Nutella Central right there. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. I don't even know why the, your body doesn't like this. Your body doesn't like doing this. Uh, it's gonna. It's hurt. gonna. It's gonna revolt. This, but at this point, I don't really think it matters. Ugh. Phelps does not eat 50,000 calories a day every day. Phelps is eating 20,000 calories a day every day. Not 50. Don't do that at home. Remember, I'm a... And that's still a fucking lot of calories. Trained professional idiot. And it's a common occurrence on this channel that I just eat marshmallows off and nice. And Phelps is like six foot seven and Jack, too. Yeah. He's gotta be full, bro. <sighs> Laughing for 10 minutes can make you burn 20 to 40 calories. I'm gonna be a marshmallow. See, look, watching day waves cardio. Ooh. Hope Frozen's alive. That's disgusting. I hate this. I hate this. I don't feel good. I'm. You feel bad just watching him, right? I feel bad watching it. I don't know why I'm like getting sick for him. <laughs> now I, he didn't finish it. He, he only made it to forty-six thousand because he fell asleep to take an hour nap and he slept through the night. Um, which I get. This is the aftermath video he made. I attempted to eat 50,000 calories in less than 24 hours. Now, for those who haven't watched the video yet, it's time to run. <laughs> so he's trying to lose, he's trying to burn the calories afterwards. 10.1 miles complete. 55 miles on the bike. All in a day's work. It's a lot. And also, all these dudes are super. They are all work out and they're all super. You have to be. You have to be. Yeah, because it's a physical challenge. Yeah, it, and... yeah, absolutely. Look, see, this is the stuff. Look at the healthy stuff now. Let's go. But this is how they keep their stomach expanded. I mean, now he's now dying. now he's getting bored of the of the of the regular food. Frozen, did you name it? Did you poo? It wasn't poo. It was something else. Okay, as long as it wasn't poo. Did, did you lay one of them Filipino <laughs> eggs? Yeah. What else do Filipinos lay? Besides poops, they lay down their vocal tracks on uh, karaoke beats. Oh, hot fire, hot fire. Hot fire, yeah, hot fire. <laughs> so that's... It's just like soy sauce on plain chicken. Yeah, I know. Lies <laughs> after these giant calorie challenges. After I do these crazy days of eating, I have to stick to a regimented diet and training routine. If I wasn't doing that, my weight would skyrocket. Of and course. Speaking of my body weight, here's what it looked like seven days after the 50,000 huh. calorie cheat day challenge. You don't say. 
pre chat this is the pre-challenge way in oh your toes are disgusting 160 pre-challenge weight 160 okay post challenge weigh in 190 he put on Bro. oh my god this is seven days post challenge he's back at 160 so he only gained five pounds net after but he had to push himself now i talked about this in a video i made on my third channel which dives into how i prepare for these calorie challenges but i came into this i'm actually uh, that, that's something that we'll probably watch one day i want to see i want to see that around at about 165 to about 170 pounds this is what i look like at 165 pounds and this is what i look like coming into the 50,000 calorie challenge a few pounds lighter than that and it was pretty interesting to see my weight trends the seven days after the challenge was over this is a graph showing what my body weight looked like the seven days following the 50,000 calorie challenge now Dude, I won't that's go ridiculous. on about this because I've talked about this a lot. I am an endurance athlete. I am currently training for an Ironman, which is happening in October. So a few pounds of weight gain is really not something I'm gonna worry about because I am expending so much energy. Just to show you how many calories I actually burn through training, this is what the next seven days look like oh, after okay. the Okay, that's pretty over. good. I do want to touch upon something because a question that I got asked a lot about in the comment section of the video was what were the bathroom trips like during and after the 50,000 calorie cheat day challenge? Now my answer might surprise a lot of you, but I've actually dealt with much worse, believe it or not. I strategically implemented a lot of liquid calories at each meal. Like I knew going into it that I was not going to be able most likely not going to digest 50,000 calories in just solid food like pizza, donuts, and all that. So I knew I needed to really maximize my liquid calorie consumption in this challenge. The liquid calories in this challenge accounted for about, I believe, about 34 to 37 percent. Wow, this of the guy's like really into, into this, huh? The actual challenge itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually really glad I decided to do that. Now, if you guys remember, the whole goal was to consume 50,000 calories within 20. He did a video. Actually, I don't have that luxury. He, he did a video, Frozen where he spun a wheel and he had the and whatever it landed on he had to eat the full menu at four different fast food places the full menu yeah so you're crying about this sky like oh damn what happened to dominic dominic monahan that's not him frozen he's not cooking the things frozen mm -hmm. today officially ends the food challenge for you and you have until friday to oh make. look it's like two dollars off tim you have a. You you have uh, two dollars from spinning it again, huh? Well, look at the end. As long as look, the moment that I end this this phrase or this thing that I'm going on, and that will completely end a challenge. So, if two dollars doesn't come in by the time I end this outro yeah, to the show, weak. and it reminds me of this story, you know, um, there was this guy named Frozen Asian who decided. He was going to mock the audience and say there's two dollars left at the end of the video and then what ended up happening was somebody heard that and they donated two dollars but then after those two dollars people kept donating more two dollars because everybody want to be the person to make the video <laughs> like spin <laughs> hey frozen <laughs> what happened did, did what i say did what Fucking i say dicks did what i say did what i say <laughs> happen did what I say happen? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Damn good coffee, two dollars! Exclamation point! Mayor riot two, uh, dance not here. Lean and mean. Okay, well, 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 and well, well, well. It shows how dumb the audience is. We didn't even reach the the fifty. <laughs> where were we at? Where, 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 where are we at? We're at two sixty six. Oh no! Hey, frozen. Where, where were we at? Frozen. Where were we at? Where were we at? Frozen. <laughs> Oh. Frozen, where were we at? Say it oh. again. Say it, bitch. Oh. Say it, bitch. Silent talking with $48. Did I do it right? Yeah, it sure did. Can't see it. There it is. Thank you. You fucking pieces of shit. Sweet <laughs> bread. That's not Sweet bad. Bread. What kind of sweet bread? The kind that I, goes well with chicken liver. An huh? entire wedding cake. That's, yeah, there was a chicken liver added five years in the super. Yeah. By the oh, way, that's right. Chicken, did. chicken liver. Did you know that? Yeah, you put a chicken liver up there. Yeah, did you know that? Did you and know a that sweet there was bread. chicken liver? Tap yeah, said two bread. more dollars. Uh, it just said tap. Frozen, what, are, what was the total now that we've added everything? If you say hi, we'll hi. 
Okay, okay hey, there Royce, more. Yeah. What is what's today? It's two for Tuesday. It is. <laughs> this is the last one, Frozen. So, Frozen, I you better just quit my job, right? Here I should we just go. quit my job because I can't do this all in time. Again. This is your job, bro. I get to do whatever I want to those onions, so fuck off. Frozen, thank you so much. We are so excited for what you do on Friday. I cannot fucking wait. JJ's next. You guys Those are onions aren't going to be raw. That Wawa wheel will be ready tomorrow, boys. We're making that Wawa wheel. Oh, so by go the to way, Wawa, huh? so, but, uh, since we're doing that Wawa wheel. <clears throat> it's from Wawa. Remember, I know all of you can't listen. You can't, you know, decipher <laughs> shit. JJ's next. It's Wawa. JJ's next. JJ's up next. You have to find it from a wild. JJ's next, guys. Go. John will be on at 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Nothing food related on my show. Stop bitching, Frozen. <laughs> Gotta find it from a wild. Has to be from a wild.